Shortly after Judge Barry Williams gave his ruling declaring Officer Edward Nero not guilty on all four counts, protesters voiced their displeasure. We're frustrated uh, because, again, it shows that the communities right now don't have a voice. It seems like the communities right now are, 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 are separated from everybody else. We wonder as they feel now, this is post-rebellion period, they feel like they can get away with doing virtually nothing in terms of justice for the entire community because this represents how the entire community feels. Frustrated, outraged, and angry, more than a dozen protesters continued demanding justice for the in-custody death of Freddie Gray. We need justice for being a human being. That's not right, and I don't, I, I don't accept that. The protest outside the courthouse remained peaceful, but as sheriff's deputies escorted members of Officer Nero's family, the situation turned chaotic. No justice, no peace! No justice, no peace! No justice! No justice! No justice! No peace! The protesters still seeking accountability as the remaining officers are set to go on trial. Someone has lost their life and not held accountable. And those protesters also told me that they will be back at the courthouse. They will be again monitoring the other trials of the other officers. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News. Barry, thank you.